Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick video on how to attach uh, wiggle tails um, to your hook using uh, fast attachment snaps um, that you attach to both the wiggle tail and to the hook. So stay tuned. Alright. Let's keep going. So, like I mentioned in the introduction, today I'm going to show you very briefly how to attach wiggle tails uh, to a hook. Um, the wiggle tails we're using today, uh, they're the original ones. They're from uh, Paolo Pacchiarini from Italy. Uh, he has a company called Fish On. Uh, you can buy these wiggle tails and uh, the snaps we're going to use uh, from uh, our store, rapexflyfishing.com. I'll put a description down in the link. Uh, so to attach uh, the wiggle tail uh, to the fly, uh, what you will need is uh, two different types of snaps. So uh, one is a snap that you attach to the tail, and the other snap is a snap that you put uh, on the hook in itself. And then you tie the fly uh, on the hook, of course. And um, these snaps are great because it gives you an, a way of uh, interchangeable switching between wiggle tails of different colors and different sizes and uh, it's a great way of adding action to your fly. Uh, this is just a chartreuse pike fly um, where we have a chartreuse yumbo slim wiggle tail on here and as you can see it's very very easy to just take it off and just put it back on like so and off we go, go catch the big one. All right, so here he comes. Uh, to start, we're going to first attach the wiggle tail uh, to the snap for tails. Uh, the easiest way to do this is uh, to, to secure the snap for tails in the vise uh, via the bent end, uh, as we have done here. And the next step will be to attach your thread. Uh, here I'm using uh, Vivas 100 denier thread. Uh, the Vivas uh, thread is very strong and uh, will allow, allow you to tightly secure the wiggle tail around the snap and it's overall a terrific thread uh, to use t uh, for pike flies. Alright, so let's start by attaching the thread. Wind the thread uh, all the way forward here uh, to the ring uh, of the snap for tails. Uh, snip off the thread there. At this point, what you want to do um, is to um, pick up your wiggle tail. Um, you have it pointing uh, downwards, like so, and you just fold it around, like so. I'm just spinning the bobbin here to get to attach better. You make one loose wrap. Just to anchor it down and align it if necessary. And after that, what you do is that you secure the wrap all the way back towards the bend, like so. And apply multiple rounds of thread here just to really securely um, attach the wiggle tail to the snap for tails. Last thing to do. Uh, is to perform uh, a three or four turn whip finish. If I can find my whip finisher here. Okay. Snip off the thread. And the last step, not the least, uh, is uh, to apply some super glue. Um, always bring up trusted super glue such as Apigap. Um, it will increase the durability. Uh, with this setup. Okay, there we go. Let's put this aside for now. Uh, the next step will be to attach uh, a snap for hooks um, uh, to the hook that you'll be using to tie your fly on. Uh, here I'll be using a 2 Auth Universal Predator X hook from Partridge. And I'll attach it here to the hook. There we go. The thing to do is to just attach your thread 
and we're going to attach a snap here in the back of the hook so you don't have to wrap. We'll start your thread wraps all the way in the beginning. We'll wrap all the way back to wrap where the bend spurts, like so. Bring up the, the snap uh, for hooks and attach it uh, having the ring here pointing backwards. This is where the wiggle tail uh, will be attached later on and have this bent part here facing forward. This will require quite a few wraps to have this cinched down properly. So, form your five turn finish. Go through your thread. And again, uh, apply some super glue, such a sappy gap here. Uh, it's, it's really, really good, and it increases the stiff durability of this setup a lot. So, the bend here uh, in the snap it's to basically to prevent uh, this whole snap from being pulled off um, by the fish once it strikes and you can crimp that one down later on <coughs> using pliers if it makes it easier to tie the fly right so this here is um, the setup is basically finished all we have to do now is to um, attach the wiggle tail and you do so by just striking the ring over like so there we go it's, it's attached and the beauty with these snaps is that you can easily take them off and apply a different color or a different size uh, even when you're on the water so you can uh, basically tune your setup to um, the fish's mood on that particular day Alright, well, thank you. If you liked the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and hit the like button, of course. And uh, finally, please visit rapexflyfishing.com uh, to pick up some wiggle tails. Um, I posted a link to our website uh, below in the description. And until next next time, tight line, tight lines, my friends.